So we've had the luxury over a period of time of talking about gains and really getting to the heart and center of what motivates these companies to do some of the things that they do that we don't like, that we do like, whatever the case may be. And then I think more importantly, we've been able to tap into these different communities and get you to see some of their agendas and some of the things that they're trying to do that maybe don't correlate with what you're looking for in gaming. Um, I think that's been a staple of this platform. And I think that we've been successful, successful in doing that because of the assistance that you've given us. So to try to further extend on that, what we've done is we've gone to our most staunchest supporters and we said, look, we want to reward you, but we want to do it even further in that same vein. So now we have a series for our members where we are going to sit down and talk to some movers and shakers in the gaming community and give you their perspective of what's going on beyond what we think. And I think you're going to enjoy this, this content. What's up people? It's your boy MM2K of Hard Knock Digital Culture, Cloud Dosage, and MM2K Gaming back again with a special video. Um, before we get into this one, do us a huge favor, that like button, hit that subscribe button, and rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when we're dropping these doses. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about two big interviews that we've done via new content that we've created that you may not be aware of, but I'm telling you, you're going to want to indulge in. We have started a new series called Lobby Talk. That's where I sit and talk with some of the biggest community members um, on our side of gaming that you guys know of. Um, we had two great sessions already. One with King Thrash, he he kicked, he jump started everything off. And then our second episode was with Porter Rock and they were fantastic episodes. And it doesn't stop there. I mean, we got people like Next Gen 720, Doc Dark, uh, Max, a, a variety of different people that we're looking to bring here on this platform so you get their perspective on gaming beyond us babbling all the time. Um, and I am proud to say that this Sunday coming up, we have Tim Dog. Yes, Tim Dog himself will be here. Um, I believe 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Stay tuned for the exact time, but he will be here. He will be our next guest on Lobby Talk. All right. If you are pondering if Lobby Talk is even worth the time and effort, what I want to do is play for you two snippets from our previous interviews with Porter Rock and King Thrash to let you know we step back, we let them divulge the information and man oh man oh man do you get some serious insight on some stuff so first let's start with king thrash in order for us to do that we have to do this let me show you that and in order for us to do so i want to play this clip where king thrash is talking about um he's we're, we're going over he's going over game reviews and in particular, when it comes to game reviews, he's talking about um, how people score this stuff and how when this stuff is scored, it may not be in your best interest. They have their own agenda to serve and how, you know what I'm saying? Gamers themselves have to rely on their own intuition. So let's let's listen to that just to give you a snippet of what we're talking about here on Lobby Talk. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they won't have yeah. to pay for it, but they won't get it yeah, early. Yeah, they won't they be able to get it early. It. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the only bad point of that. But I hate that system anyway. I hate the mm -hmm. the review system anyway, because if you give them a bad review, you'll get blacklisted. And that's from all these companies. That's from Sony. That's from Xbox. That's from Nintendo. Exactly. Well, maybe yeah. it's Nintendo. I don't know. But Microsoft and Xbox mm -hmm. and Sony and, and PlayStation for sure. Oh, and yeah. I don't think that's right. I don't no. think anybody should get blacklisted for saying that your game was trash if they mm -hmm. found it trash. trash but as long as they found it trash fairly and mm -hmm. i think that's the problem with the review system that we have today it's more based on opinion than it is fact yeah and you're supposed to have some opinion in there don't get me mm -hmm. wrong mm -hmm. but you should you should be basing it on the facts of the actual game yep. you know what i'm saying and yeah. i've seen that back and back when that, that one chick um um reviewed Day is gone and said that she didn't like oh. the fact that he, he was hitting on his well, own wife. Yeah, 
That was another yeah, one. Bro. I yeah, that was that. Was, yeah. The days gone. A lot of people did not give that a, a shot. Now, I, credit to Cold Blood. I, I get that the game early on had some bugs, but well after that, like that is a hidden gem. I like Days Gone. I didn't realize right. it was that good. Yeah, you know it's what I'm good, saying. Bro. Good you systems, know? good everything, bro. Like good, good way of building it. Good story. It's a mm. good game. Bro. It got it a has little some bit glitches. of Far Cry, a little yeah. bit of Uncharted. Yeah. It's like a mixture, and I didn't realize it was that good. A good mixture yeah. of stuff too. Yeah, so. a good deep mixture. Like you know, a lot of a lot of zombies on the screen. You have yeah. to manage how, how you're going to take care of that yep. as one person. Yep. It was just fantastic, and she ignored all of that shit. Mm -hmm. because she was jealous that a, a, a ones and zeros that made up a man hit yeah. on ones and zeros that made up a woman <laughs> you know what i'm saying it just bothered me to no yeah. end and i'm like what yeah. the fuck and she's for game was game stop not game stop game game was spot games game you know game what I'm saying? spot I, yeah yeah yes and it's just like mother like that's when that's when i knew that there was guaranteed mm -hmm. a gigantic issue with the system yeah. Guaranteed. This bitch got her feelings over a goddamn cartoon woman yeah. and a man who like his <laughs> wife's ass. Yeah. Exactly. Wife. Yeah. She didn't complain. She didn't complain yeah. about the black dude who had a mm. ring somehow, like acting like she wasn't fucking a guy. I know he was fucking. Uh, yes. Ain't no way. Nigga, I, I couldn't have been deacon. I would have killed that nigga on the spot. You got my wife ring on my nigga? That's, I gave her that ring, nigga. Yeah. A buck. Bow. Shot the and you black dude. Yeah. Oh, he was dicking her down. Bow, bow, bow. Like I would have could have been over for cut. But <laughs> <laughs> but nobody no mention of that he, she was mad that he, he he hit on his own I, I clearly she needs some 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 sex in her life dog or something but it just shows just how much opinion affected that score over mm. the actual game dog and that was a travesty man <laughs> yeah. hey bro shit. i was just telling cold blood uh because i don't know a lot of people know this but you know when all that the journalism started it, it well, from what i saw you know when it started going downhill hmm. with game informer when? That's why when Game Informer closed down, I didn't cry. Because here's why. The mm -hmm. old senior editor of Game Informer, Andy McNamara, he's over at EA right now. I remember when him and the guy before him took over. And Game Informer was so bad, like, as far as facts were concerned. It wasn't their score. Somewhere. It was the facts. Like you said, like, it's not about your opinion. But if you sit there and say shit is happening in a game that ain't happening and you base your score on it, then that's wrong. And Game right. Informer was notorious for that. They would always get letters like you would see the editorial section and they were addressing something every episode. You know what I'm saying? That they had yeah. factually got wrong. So people look at and at the time, Game Informer was the number one gaming magazine. So people look at mm -hmm. them and say, well, shit, if they can get away with not being accurate, well, the rest of us can, and, well, we yeah, can make yeah. up shit. And, and it's been downhill ever since then. You know what I mean? They, yeah, they're looking at it like, damn, they're making money while being inaccurate. They're not even Thank working you. on it. It's like these salt content creators. Like like you had pointed out in one of your rebuttal videos, somebody was lying on you and saying something that you didn't say. But yeah, that's the yeah. new thing now because it's making money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so all that all that fake controversy and all that shit and lying on people because it's juicy. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. People like the juices, dog. They yeah, like they, the little yeah, drama yeah. juices more than anything. <laughs> like <laughs> dripping really down do. their chin and neck and shit. They like yeah, that shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They like that. Don't, don't even wipe it up. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Cold Blood is in the chat. He said, just like Phil thought that he gets double digit scores higher for Redfall than he did. <laughs> exactly. But you, you know what that is? That's not even Phil. You know what that is? What's That's that? people scared of Phil. That's what mm. that is. Tell me I'm off, bro. Mm. That's not Phil. That's people, mm. people who are scared of Phil, bro. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow. That's exactly what that is, bro. Because there's no way that that game scored. They thought that game scored yeah, that high. Everybody, but in the they had to say that. that. Yeah, they didn't want to get in trouble. They didn't want to exactly. get fired. Yeah. They want to get, you know, like. Yeah. It, it, that's what's so, that's what's so bad about having a gaming company that's ran by a company that don't care about you. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Because that company is going to go hard. Like, why why aren't you making money, Phil? The fuck yep. going on, Phil? We need yep. to come out these games, Phil. And they don't they, and they don't even really understand the process of gaming. Phil barely understand it. So if you go and tell a man that's already getting yelled at and shit by his bosses, <laughs> you go and tell this nigga, uh, this shit look like it's gonna be a fifty, bro. Like, yeah. It's gonna, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a problem, bro. Like it's gonna yeah. be an issue. So, mm. yeah, dog. So there you have it, my friends. Uh, that was our interview with Thrash, right? Thrash gave a lot of great pointers and looks at different things that he saw. 
um, with the game score review and the interview goes way deeper than that. Like, trust me, we got a lot of time with Thrash and he breaks, he's working on a project which is very interesting and he talks about this project, project for the first time with us. So you definitely want to check out that interview. But another interview that you guys are going to want to check out is the interview that we had with Porter Rock. I mean, Porter Rock and I have a long history, just like Thrash, but me and Porter Rock actually battled. We actually had like a friendly adversarial, you know, get together, you know what I'm saying? Because he was pro PlayStation, I was pro Xbox and all this other stuff, right? And we were reminiscing on that. But more importantly, um, I think this is one of the critical points, just one of them, of the conversation that we had with Porter Rock, where because he's a longtime creator, right? Um, I wanted to get his thoughts on the tactics that certain creators are using. Now, like that's relevant to what's going on now. We kind of discussed that with, with some creators just saying things that are just not true, but just tapping into people's emotions. I want you to hear what Porter Rock's take is on this because it also is very interesting. Here it goes. But yo, but now the grift and the formula to grift. Mm -hmm. And the grift formula is you have to you have to how what's the best way to you have to placate to the audience now mm -hmm. you have yeah. to make them feel good it's the 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 the, the algorithm is feelings now not yep. knowledge yeah it's feelings yep. if you really want to make it is how yeah. do you make your audience feels feel well yeah. let's be honest the ones who are looking for feelings the most is the xbox it's not playstation mm -hmm. right the reason why you know the algorithm you know in this community benefits those who talk shit to playstation and you make xbox feel good because you're punching up it's like yeah. a comedian that punches up they're funny but yeah. comedians that punch down me and talk yeah. shit about people it's not funny no one wants yeah. to hear you make fun of bums and underprivileged yeah. people make fun yeah. of the rich people make fun of the people who are successful that's funny punch mm -hmm. up yeah right when you talk about xbox you're punching down yeah, yeah. <laughs> even the playstation guys some of them are cool yeah. with it whatever but the masses don't really care. Don't it's really like, care. Yeah. Eh, like yeah. do we really care that you're talking shit about Xbox, you know, whatever. But the the reverse, talking shit about PlayStation mm. and protecting Xbox, there's a lot of people there because most people know Xbox is having a bad gen. Mm -hmm. So they got to get something good out of this. Yeah. So if it's a podcast, hearing other people talk positive, you'll be you'll be you'll be surprised how that goes a long way. That's just that's just internet in general. There's a lot of people that just they're subscribed to podcasts, they're subscribed to content creators. Look at that show. What is it? Uh, Fresh and Fit. Yeah, that is the most incel shit I ever heard in my fucking life. I'm like, did these dudes ever date a woman? Yeah, exactly. I'm yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. this yep. is the worst advice ever. I'm like, I've been with my wife for 22 years. Yeah. None, that none shit of, none of don't stuff make keep sense. Married and shit. Yeah. But there's millions of people that relate to that bad information because maybe mm -hmm. they haven't gotten a girl, maybe yeah. they're low, whatever. So sometimes it's just yeah. good to hear another man or another person exactly. that understands that you and makes feel like you, feel you can relate to. Yep. Exactly. You can relate to. And that's why, they, even if it's fake, mm -hmm. but it just feels right for some people. Yeah. That's yeah. the Xbox community. Yeah. Because everybody knows Xbox is yeah. dog shit. No one's buying that. <laughs> Come on. Wake up and smell the roses. Stop playing. But some people just want to escape from that. They don't want to be surrounded in that negativity. Every other day, Xbox, negative 47. Uh, no games. Hell, mm -hmm. what was it? Last month. And it was from me. But then everybody took the idea from me or the, the author. Every single game is on PlayStation, oh, yeah. but not I every single game is on Xbox. You know that, yeah, yeah right? I owe you royalties too. I'll send you a check. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then the other new shit, right? That I brought up, I, I should get royalties. But when yeah. you're an Xbox dude, that's all you see in their facts. Yeah. But that shit gets old. So mm -hmm. when you see a podcast, even if it's fake or maybe or possibility, you hear good shit, man. For them, that's refreshing. Yeah. Right, and for the few people that will say, "Nah, PlayStation's dog shit," in a world where everybody's saying PlayStation is the best, you got the one dude that's saying, "Nah, yeah. PlayStation's yeah. dog shit." They'd yeah. be like, "You know what? Finally, I could listen to somebody that agrees with me and in a world where everybody says I'm wrong." Subconsciously, that makes them think, "Oh, the rest of them are sheep," and that makes me the smart one because I don't, you exactly. know, I don't think like the sheep. When it's in actuality, mm -hmm. you just don't relate to reality. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that's what it is. Fucking agrees with you. Like Xbox is, yes. they thrown everything but the kitchen sink, and they're doing worse than they were last gen. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. absolutely. 
You yeah. know, it's crazy, right? And I see it all the time on people buy PlayStation because it's just popular. Yeah, yeah. Well, why why is it popular? Popular. Yeah. <laughs> why? Because it got games. Oh, I didn't take that like, far. yo, I didn't, I'll be back. It got games. It's popular. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's crazy, bro. <laughs> this shit is crazy, you know? Uh, like, uh, like, bro. Shout out to Jonathan in the chat with the five dollar. He's trolling. He said Xbox Series S saved gaming. Hashtag oh, fresh and thick. Fresh and thick. Oh shit. <laughs> Fresh and thick. Oh shit. You know, you know, oh, can I shit. get a lock heart, please? Oh, yeah, when them dudes oh, you know, they, oh, they thought Xbox Series S was black oh, Jesus. They thought God. that shit was the second coming of Christ. They were little crazy. Timmies in the world finally could play next gen games oh, day yeah. one. Portable. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, these dudes don't get it, uh, man. I was what games? People, what games I was were like, you launching? I was like, the Series S is not going to, I I had to enter, I had to channel my inner Porter Rock. I said, this it's, it's going to get worse. No, it's going to be 1440p and, and gamers are going to love it. I said, why? What 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 is 1440? And I said, do you guys really think, I said, Xbox has not been able to execute on anything since 2013. And, I said, and I'm not over exaggerating. They couldn't execute on anything since 2013. What really makes you think they're going to come out with two different SKUs? One SKU in the lock court, which developers are already saying is bottleneck. Because remember, they were saying this shit before launch. And mm -hmm. they're actually going to execute on it and it's going to outperform PlayStation. And their answer mm -hmm. was 1440p. Like, I was like, casuals don't even know what the fuck 1440p is. Like, what are you guys talking about? But, yeah, they ran with and, it. And, and, and I got when they were saying, oh, it's 1440p because it's just a weaker GPU. But then yeah. we saw the mm -hmm. specs of the memory. I'm mm -hmm. like, stop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah. bro, that, yeah. that's a whole different, like, you got less memory? Yeah. That's, that's a lot more than just resolution now. Now we're yeah. not talking resolution. We're talking yeah. effects. It's going to be, you... It's literally two different consoles at this point now. Now you yeah. just got two different consoles at the same time with the name Xbox. I'm like, oh, this ain't gonna be good. <laughs> this ain't gonna be good. right. And then I was like, what's up with the launch? Oh, you know, res boost for backwards backwards games. I'm like, bro, we really talking about this? You think people really care about backwards compatibility at launch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. for res boost. You think yeah. that's what's gonna sell these consoles? Yeah. Like, bro, when the games came out, they didn't even sell the Xbox. You think no. re re regurgitating, repackaging them yeah. with Res Boost? Yeah. Come on, bro. Where are the new games? And quick resume. What the fuck are you? Quick I wouldn't resume. do quick resume until What are you quick game? resuming? <laughs> <laughs> quick resume would require games. Yeah. What games? <laughs> to the fucking Falconer, bro. Like, no, what are we doing? This bro? shit is crazy. It was, yeah, it, was. it was crazy, bro. It was crazy. Yeah. It was crazy. That's, That's what I <laughs> so there you have it folks that's even more banter between p and i there's a lot more that we talk about on the podcast and like i said we have even more people that are going to be coming to the show um that we're going to be talking to about their belief in video games and trust me this is not designed to be um just a bash of fear on one piece of plastic versus another we're gonna all of these people that i talk to I feel like there's something that either I or either you as a listening public um, that come here and support this platform, y'all have something in common. So we talk about those commonalities and then there's oftentimes where I just sit back and I just let them go and I let them give their perspective. Cause I, I mean, I could go and say, Oh no, not about this. It's not about that. But it's, we're bringing these people here for you to get their perspective on the things that we talk about daily and again like i said we're breaking it here now tim dog is joining us on sunday he is going to be the um interviewee for episode three you're definitely not going to want to miss that even porter rock when i informed him at the end of the show and you'll hear it in the porter rock interview he, he himself said yeah that that tim dog interview is going to be a big deal so there you have it folks our new show lobby talk it's exclusively for our members. It's a special thank you to, to our members. If you want to opine, if you're like, hey, this is something that I'm really interested in and let me become part of this uh, member family, hit that join button. Join us at the, uh, we call it the foamy homie level, foamy homie or above. We'll give you access to these interviews. We will see you again. Enjoy the show if you're watching this as part of Interro Podcast 71. We got a, got a great show for you. If you're watching this a la carte, definitely look at the card to your left 
for that uh, for that that podcast. The car to the right is going to take you to um, the playlist for these member shows. With that said, we appreciate everybody. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.